Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint online tutorial. Myself Roslyn, I am a SharePoint developer in TS Info Technologies. In this video, we will learn what is SharePoint online web paths and how we can use the SharePoint web paths in our modern SharePoint site pages. And these are the following headings that we will cover in this video. Before entering into what is SharePoint online web paths, we should have some knowledge about what is SharePoint and what is the difference between SharePoint online team site and SharePoint online communication site. After that, we will learn what is SharePoint Online Web Paths and what is the difference between SharePoint Online sections and SharePoint Online Web Paths and what are the available web paths that we can use in the modern SharePoint site pages. Here it is. What is SharePoint? It is a technology where basically many organizations uses to create websites and we use SharePoint to store and uh, access the documents. It is uh, basically a document management platform which was provided by the Microsoft and it is a browser based collaboration. We can easily store and access the information from anywhere from any devices and we can easily share documents either within our team members or with the external user. We just need a browser with the internet connection to access the SharePoint online. Here what is SharePoint online team site? Team sites are specific to the particular team or the selected team or group where we can uh, share information with the selected team or group. For example, if we have SharePoint team, Python team and database team, then in that case, if we want to share information only to the Python team, we can create team site and we can uh, share the information that we want to share with the Python team. So by default, when you create team site, it will be in the private mode. The team members can easily access it. When you create team site, you can see that the navigation part will be come in the left hand side navigation and there will be no top navigation in the SharePoint online team site. So basically we create a SharePoint online team site to share information with the selected team or particular group. Here, what is SharePoint online communication site? A SharePoint online communication site is a place where you share information with the entire organization. For example, if the HR wants to communicate to all the employees, then in that case, he or she can create the SharePoint online communication site to share information with the large audiences. So by default, when you create a communication site, it will be taking as a top navigation and that, that will not be a left navigation that is presented in the SharePoint online communication site. Basically, we create a SharePoint online communication to share the information with the large audiences. Here you can see, I have logged into the SharePoint admin center. I have opened the SharePoint admin center where we can uh, see active sites here under the site option. If you click on the create option, then you can see the team site and communication site. This is how we can create a team site and communication site. But in this example, I have already created a, a team site page separately and the communication site page separately. Here you can see in team site page, the navigation part will come left hand side navigation, where in communication site, the navigation part occurs as the top navigation. This is the one difference between a team site page and the communication site page. SharePoint online advantages. Here, there are four main advantages that SharePoint online has. The first thing is we can easily create a SharePoint site. It doesn't matter either it is a team site or communication site. We can e easily and quickly create sites in the SharePoint and we can easily share the documents either within our team members or with the external users and we can easily search the documents that are presented in the SharePoint site we can store up to one terabyte data in the SharePoint site page now we will see what is SharePoint online web part it is basically a building block of the sh SharePoint site pages. When we create a site page, we use the web part to display the information into the site pages. And in a single site page, we can use up to 20 web parts. And the main use of SharePoint online web part is to uh, showcase or display the information or the content that we want to uh, show it in the SharePoint site pages. Here you can see what is the difference between section and web parts. As I already said, section is a very basic element that, that is used to add the web parts, where web parts is displays the information that we want to show it in our modern SharePoint site pages. These are the main two difference 
um, between the section and the web part. Here, these are the available SharePoint web parts. There are many uh, SharePoint web parts available. In this example, we will see a few web parts. Uh, like, we will see first a uh, SharePoint Online image web part, and later we will see SharePoint Online Quick Link web part, and we will see Document Library web part and File Viewer web part, and finally we will see what is the SharePoint Online Organization web part. Now I will show example on these web parts in the communication site page open the communication site page once you create this communication site page you can see this is how it displays with the hero web part now click on the edit icon and select this section that you want to show here you can see one column section two column section three column one third one third right full width section here i am going to choose one column section and click on the plus icon and search for the image image web part here we can upload image or we can uh, give any link for the image we can upload image from the from our local system and by default we can select a stock images or the recent images these are the options that are available here i am going to choose the image which is uh, presented in the stock images under the stock image option and click on the insert button once inserted you can see the image is inserted in the image web part and you can also edit the web part where you can give a press link for the image and we can add text over an image when you enable we can here add like that um we can add text over the image if you disable it then we cannot see that option in the image web part and we can also uh, add alternative text over here this is how we can use the image web part and the second thing i told you is to show the quick link web part for that select the web part and search here for the quick link quick links choose the quick link option and here select click on the add a link option and choose from a link here i am going to give the, and paste it over here and click on the add button once you click on the add button you can see the link is added to the quick link web part this is uh, in quick link web part you can choose the layout options also when you edit you can select compact layout list layout button layout or tiles grid film strip these are the layout options available in the quick link for the quick link web part in the same way we can add many external links over here this is how we, here i have added a sharepoint enjoy, enjoy sharepoint site url and the sb guides url this is how we can use the quick link web part and we can also choose a uh, thumbnail here either we can choose custom images or icons and we can add alternate text field for that select a thumbnail image after that i am going to choose uh, here i will choose document library web part and file viewer web part for that i have selected here two column section here i am going to choose document library web part and here i am going to choose file viewer web part here select the documents that you want to view it in the file viewer here i am going to choose the document folder when you want to view that uh, selected image in the file viewer web part for that select the file viewer web part and connect to the source first so that only you can able to sell view that selected file here you can see i have selected the image 3 option and it displays the image 3 if i select the different image then the selected file will be viewed in the file viewer web part this is how we can use a document library web part and the file viewer web part and finally i will show you the how to use the organization web part in the same way select the section and click on the plus icon and search for the organization web chart web part choose the this is how it is uh, displays choose the employee name and here these three people are reporting to that particular employee and we will also once you edit the web part we also can able to edit the number of reporting levels up so when you select a three then you can see once the you publish the web sharepoint site page then you can able to see the three level hierarchy in this organization web part now i'm going to publish this so that the changes will be appear on the SharePoint modern site page. So click on the republish option here to see your changes. And here you can see this is the image web part that I have added. And this is the quick link web part. When I click on this link, it will go to open, open it in the new tab. 
in the same way when you click on the enjoy sharepoint it will open it in the new new tab this is the image web part and this is quick link web part and here when you select any images from the document library and you can view it in the file viewer web part and the organization chart these are the three people's reporting to that particular team head and when you select the another level here, here you can see the, this is the second level hierarchy and this is how uh, it the organization chart web parts and this is how we can use the modern sharepoint online web parts in the modern sharepoint site pages with this we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please click on the like button and do subscribe to our channel and these are the free tutorials that are available in our channel thank you